It'll all come down to this fourth inning. See who's going to win this game. Reese Crenshaw to lead it off here in the fourth and probably final inning. Third pitch to Reese Crenshaw. Third pitch. Oh, he hits it hard out into left field. The left fielder, Spencer Taylor, there to make the play. A hard hit ball by Reese Crenshaw. If it had gotten by him, that would have set, definitely been extra bases. And Spencer Taylor out in left field holds him to a single, but a nice hit ball nonetheless by Reese Crenshaw. Pitch, he has a swing at this regardless of the quality of the pitch. And he jumps on the high one and it works. Lashinsky is going to try to make the play at second. What do they call? Safe at second. Two runners on. Two runners on for the Indians. Reese Crenshaw on second. Graham Duncan on first. Gilbert the batter. Oliver Gilbert. First pitch to Oliver Gilbert. And it's a pop fly infield. Whoop, they need to call it. We have a collision there. And another runner scores. We got a runner scored. Another runner scores. Not quite able to get the play at home. We've got an injured player, so they call time. Oliver, see, Oliver Gilbert the batter. Tillman fields the ball. He makes the throw to first. Oh, it's going to be an overthrow. Two more runs. That is a tying run. Gilbert scores. Wires is on third. And Wires, it would be the tying run. Wires is the, uh, will be the 14th run if he scores. And he is now on third base with no outs. And Lee the batter. Jackson Lee. And he hits a chopper there up the middle. Zang makes the play. Throws the ball to first. And he's safe. Jackson Lee is safe on first. His RBI scores the tying run. Scores now 14 to 14. Harlan Wires crosses the plate as the 14th run on Jackson Lee's single. All tied up. Nicholas Watts, fifth pitch. And he hits a chopper there. Zang makes the play. Gonna make the throw to first. What do they call? He's safe. Hey, how are you? You have to have special, yeah, exactly. You have to go by a safety class. Yeah. Pitch to Owen Q. Fifth pitch. Hits it hard. That's going out into left field. Owen Q with a hard hit ball scores two more runs. They hold him to a single. That was a nice hit ball by Owen Q. That scores the go ahead run. And they go ahead by two. Two runners score. Score is now 16 to 14. No outs and Q is on first. Can pitch to Jack Hamilton. He hits a chopper and Shea will make the play at second. I think they get the out at second. Sorry, I don't think I had the camera on that, but they got the out just in time. A nice play to get the first out. Shea connects with Wheeler on second for the first out. And a nice hit ball by Jack Hamilton lands him on first. Ethan Arrington, the batter. Ethan Arrington. And he hits it also. Bashinsky makes the play. Makes the throw to second. They get the out. The second out at second. Ethan, good hit, man. That's two outs. That's Hoagland. Hoagland hits a hard hit ball. Too hard for Shea to get it. Baldon makes the throw to second. And they hold the runner to a single. And the lead runner only advances one base. Runs on first and second. A nice hard hit ball by Hoagland. Alex Hoagland lands him on first and advances Arrington to second. Pitch to Blake Anderson. Two outs, two runners on. Hard hit ball down first baseline. Diego is there to make the play. The third and final out. The Twins go to work. Trailing by two. Going into the bottom of the fourth and final inning.
The Twins have their work cut out for them. They have to score at least two runs to tie and three runs to win this game. Taylor, the batter, he leads it off here for the Twins, Spencer Taylor, the leadoff batter. Third pitch to Spencer Taylor, third pitch, third pitch. Zang, the batter, Jed Zang, one out, nobody on. He jumps on the first pitch, that will likely land him on safely on first. Jed Zang with a single, the first runner on for the Twins here in the fourth and final inning. Second pitch to Clay Wheeler. Zang on first. He hits a chopper there. Is it going to get past the second baseman? Uh-oh. It's going into the outfield. Wheeler is rounding second. Zang is going home. Wheeler is going to third. Zang is safely at home. And Wheeler on third. The tying run is on third base with one out. Jet Zane crosses the plate for the 15th run. Score now 15 to 16. The Indians still lead by one. The tying run is on third base with one out. Lawrence Shea, the batter. Lawrence Shea. First pitch to Shea. And he hits a chopper there. It goes to the shortstop. Very sure glove at shortstop. And he's safe. Safe. Safe on first, and they tie it up. The score is tied now. Clay Wheeler crosses the plate to tie up the score, 16 to 16. The go-ahead run is right there. Lawrence Shea on first with one out. Captain Bashinsky the batter. Lawrence Shea on first. Oh my goodness, Bashinsky hits a hard fly ball out into left field. Lawrence Shea around second. Lawrence Shea is going home. Well, they hold him at third. Now that's a shocker. I'm surprised. I'm not really sure why they did that. Alex Diegues, the batter. Diegues hits a chopper, and that is the game. That is the ball game. The Twins win it. 17 to 16. Ball game there. One point difference between the Twins and the Indians. Nice game played by both of these teams. The whole batting order for both of these teams were hitting. I didn't see anybody who's still struggling to hit, which is fairly common here in the seven-year-old league. They're still, still learning how to hit off that pitching machine, but both of these teams have their whole batting orders hitting, and I think we'll see these two teams face again later on in the playoffs.